Right, y'all, Ryan here again. Recently, you all saw me unbox a new guitar from GOC Guitars. It was the Illumina MTLX in gold, which I have well, right there behind me on a guitar stand. So now I'm back with another unboxing. This one's actually pretty sick. I'm really stoked for this one. It's the first guitar of this kind that I've ever owned. So let's not dilly-dally. Let's go ahead and jump right into this unboxing. And then I'll go ahead and go over the guitar specs and show you the finish. And then I'll do a quick tone test for it. Next week, I'll be posting my full review of the guitar, as well as uh, letting you hear it in the context of a full demo mix and a lot of soloed tones of different varieties. So let's go ahead and jump in. So one thing I think is really worth pointing out is how well GOC actually packages these guitars. So excuse my knife, I'm not threatening anybody here, uh, but they're taped up extremely well. This is a very small box, but you're gonna see something pretty cool about how they're packed when I get inside of this box here. All right, so now that we're into the box here, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of how these look inside. So once you open it up, you've got a styrofoam cover inside of here and it's there for a reason. If we pop that off, so it's just a piece of molded styrofoam. You can see all the designs here meant to keep the guitar in its place. So let me drop that on the ground over here. Now, GOC included a pretty dope t-shirt inside of here as well. Can't wait to wear this. Go and toss it out of the way though. Then inside the cavity underneath the shirt, you have the different tools that are used to adjust the action and intonation and the truss rod. So those all come with it as well, obviously. As you can see, the guitar fits perfectly into here because it's molded. I'm not gonna take the cover off the guitar yet because I want you guys to be able to see the finish when I do. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the guitar out and let you see the way that this looks because it's molded to the exact shape of the guitar. So you can tell what kind of guitar I'm about to unbox probably by the shape of that. Uh, sorry, the camera's a little bit overblown here, but this styrofoam is all perfectly molded to keep the guitar perfectly in place while it's being shipped. So these come from across the seas, obviously, but they ship extremely well and I've never had one of them show up broken or anything like that. All right, so we've got the guitar out now. You can kind of start to see it through there, but let's go ahead and adjust the camera here so I can show you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the cover off of this thing now. We all know at this point that I suck at taking any of the styrofoam covers off of a guitar but pretty stoked to see this finish in person because I've only seen a photo of it before. I'm gonna open it just out of view so you guys can't see it until the big reveal. Oh my God, the back of this looks so sick, honestly. So let's go ahead, pull this down and then we'll pull off the fretboard cover. All right, so here's the back of it. I know, I'm a tease, but here's the back of it so far. This is an eight string. You can tell this neck is huge because it's an eight string, not because it's too large or anything, but let's go ahead and do the big reveal. This is the GOC Guitars Materia. This is an eight string. This is a brand new finish for them actually. So this finish is honestly so much more sick in person than it even was in the photos that I saw before ordering the guitar. But that pink burl came out ridiculous. Let's see if that camera can get it. Yeah, there we go. So this looks kind of ridiculous in person. I'm hoping this comes out on camera as well. So this is still like a, a raw tone, like satin finish. You can see the wood grain, you can feel the wood grain. So it's actually really, really nice. Same thing goes for the sides of the guitar. I know it's not focusing there right now because my camera's being dumb. Man, this thing looks sick though. So there's a couple things about this Materia 8 string that are new from the previous versions of it. One, there's a new 45 degree bevel, um, which makes it a lot more comfortable to play, especially when you're a big dude like me having your arm resting on it. But check out the bevel on the back, the belly cut. Honestly, this is perfect. It's gonna make the guitar so much more comfortable. Um, not that I was complaining on the earlier versions of the Materias, to be honest with you. It just adds even more comfort to an already ergonomic guitar. And you know, ergonomics might not be that important to most people, but for an eight string guitar, it is actually pretty important because the neck is gonna be bigger by default. It has to be because you have to fit eight strings on there. You have to have proper spacing. It also has to be spaced properly for the pickups, which speaking of the pickups, these are actually a brand new set of pickups from GOC Guitars. These are hand wound for them and these are the Paragon 2.0s. This is actually the new brushed metal covers for them as well. So the brushed metal covers look really nice. They look really classy on this finish style here and it kind of fits in with the aesthetic. You'll notice that the bridge is basically color matched to these pickups too. Maybe a slightly different shade because of the lighting that I'm using here being a warm lighting. But these look sick, man. The frets all feel fantastic. There's not a single sharp fret on this entire thing. If we check out the bevels on here, I mean, anybody who likes ergonomic guitars and likes belly cuts and bevels where your arm is supposed to rest here, you're really gonna love the shape of this guitar. 
So I actually am really digging the placement of the input jack. I know that's not new to the material line, but I actually really love where that's at because I play traditional stance or traditional style as far as where this sits on me. And so that's gonna be really convenient with an angled cable because it'll just sit up against my leg and I won't have to worry about like maybe bumping it out or anything like that. So and hopefully the camera picks this up as well, but you can see even though it's an eight string, they still have the AO neck, which is their ergonomic neck profile. So you have it a little bit flattened at an angle right here. And this is where my thumb tends to rest. But then what I love is that it's rounded down here and this is where my hand will cradle over the end of it. This is especially important for me on an eight string. I don't have huge hands and so I don't want something hindering my ability to play chords and things like that. I'm not just gonna play ones and zeros on here. I promise I will write something using all eight strings. Just don't know what that looks like yet, so bear with me. Okay, so now I've got it out of the box. I've got it all tuned up and ready to go. So I've got this tuned to a normal eight string drop tuning. So this is going to be in drop E. So it's E, B, E, A, D, G, B, E. So what's cool about an eight string guitar is you've got three different guitars in one basically. And I know that sounds cliche, I know that sounds weird, but you've got a six string in E standard, you've got a seven string in B standard, and then you've also got an eight string in either F standard or drop E, which is actually pretty sick because you have a lot of range that you can cover in one guitar. Um, now, what's great about this that I'm already noticing is that there's a lot of extra reach thanks to the way that they designed this. So that 45 degree bevel on the back of the guitar has a lot of extra reach right here. It's maybe a little bit kind of hard to see on camera here, but it really lets you get up into the lower registers. I guess upper registers is the way you would say that. Um, and be able to reach up into these higher frets. Uh, so it's making it a lot simpler for me to play as somebody that doesn't have big hands. I'm not a great lead player, but I am learning. And so it's nice to be able to have that kind of reach and that kind of access without having to fight for it. So as I promised, we have a little tone test going here. And I thought it'd be perfectly appropriate to use the Fortin Nameless X from Neural DSP because Obviously, it's a great amp for extended range guitars. And this being an extended range guitar itself, this is obviously a multi-scale, like all of the GOC guitars that you've seen me with so far. Um, and it's a 26 to 28 inch uh, scale, which is great for going super low in your tunings, but also being able to have a lighter gauge for these top strings, which makes it easier for lead playing. So even if you are in a drop tuning, you don't always want to have to have huge strings on it, which make it harder for you to play leads and to bend the strings and things of that sort. So it's nice to be able to have normal size strings all across the board here. Feels really nice as well. So yeah, let's go ahead and drop into this little tone test here. So first up, we've got the Fortin Nameless X from Neural DSP. I felt this was very appropriate considering the guitar that we're using right now being an eight string extended range guitar. So let's go ahead and hear a heavy rhythm tone here. Now remember, I'm not used to playing eight string guitars just yet. I will get there. This is my first one that I've even touched in almost 15 years. So I'm pretty stoked for it to be a GOC Materia 8. Let's go ahead and dive in here with the thing that you all clicked on this video to hear, which is. So it does the thing, right? But let's go a little bit further. So one thing I'd like to point out about what I just played there is those chords are still actually pretty easy for me to reach considering this is a 26 to 28 inch scale guitar. So obviously the smaller chords like, like these are easy to reach, but then when you start going to the chords that are a little bit more frets apart, like this one, or even this one, which is a three to nine. So I've got three on the dropped E and then I've got nine on the upper E. So. <laughs> The other thing I'd like to point out is as I'm playing all of this, you're hearing it stay pretty damn well in tune. Uh, this is something that I've seen plenty of videos of other eight string guitars. They don't sound that great because they keep going out of tune unless they have an Evertune. And obviously this is a headless guitar. There's no Evertune on here. Uh, Evertune, is that a thing that we can do? Can we get Evertune on a, on a headless guitar? I have no clue. I've never seen one, but that would be pretty sick. Have no clue how that would work to tune it and everything, but I would love to see it and ever tune on an eight string headless guitar. That would just, that'd be sick. That was a quick tone test with the Fortin Nameless X. So let's go ahead and jump over to Gojira X, which I wanted to do two different tones on this one because I know a lot of people have Gojira X and may not have Nameless X already. Gojira has been out for a long time, just like the Nameless has, but more people do seem to have Gojira. So I wanted to show you a little bit different tone that you can get out of having the Gojira, which is a 5150 style amp that we've got in here. So obviously Gojira X does the thing as well. Let's go ahead and take it a little bit further.
So yeah, that's it for today. I just wanted to do the unboxing, let you all see this sick new finish, let you all see just how useful that new bevel is on the uh, neck heel here. And honestly, seeing the bevel on the front of the guitar for the arm cutout and then the belly cutaway, such an ergonomic eight string guitar. Um, obviously it being headless is nice. I'm in a very small studio room. I know the camera may not show that, but I don't wanna be hitting my lights and stuff like I am with like my Dingwall bass, for instance. So it's really nice to have an eight string guitar, especially at home in the studio. But imagine traveling with an eight string guitar of any other sort, anything with a headstock, like a Kiesel eight string guitar. Uh, I have a Kiesel seven string behind me. It's a 27 inch scale. The thing is huge. The case for it is huge. The case for this is about as big as the guitar. It's super low profile. It's easy to travel with. It's easy to pack away. So bands that are touring can take one, two, three of these easily and not have to worry about where they're gonna put them. Or if it's gonna be breaking their back all night, like this is a really light guitar and I'm enjoying it thoroughly. So check back soon. I'm gonna do a full review of this guitar though and show you a ton more about the specs. And I'm also going to go into a lot more tone tests with different plugins and different styles of tones, maybe even some different genres. We'll see, eight strings can do a lot. People think that they're only for metal and obviously I just played metal. So I'm, I'm one of those people that's perpetuating that, that's perpetuating that uh, stigma around them but this guitar definitely can do it all and I'm going to show you all. So check back, like, and subscribe if you haven't already because I've got a lot more coming with this guitar. So peace out y'all.